Today we are continuing our series in Psalms, and this will be number 12, and I think this will be our last message in this series. We'll look at Psalm 148. And I hope you will enjoy it because it's really a fun psalm. So in the Bible, there are various literary genres, and we want to think about that. This is a little bit of review, Fukushu Deskido. Uh, we want to think about the different literary genres when we read the Bible and think, what are we reading? What kind of genre is this? There's history and narrative and poetry and prophecy, teaching, wisdom and letters. There's Rekishi, Monogotari, Shi, Yogin, Oshie, Chie, Tegami, Nado. And of course, Psalms is in the section on poetry. Now, Paul wrote to Timothy in 2 Timothy 3.16, and he said this, All scripture is God-breathed and is useful for teaching, rebuking, correcting, and training in righteousness. Paul wrote to Timothy ni tigami o dashite, Timothy dai ni sancho judoksetni kokakimashita. And of course, this includes Psalms. But we also have to remember when we think about interpreting uh, the Bible, that not all genres can be interpreted as easily as others. I think we have to be especially careful in interpreting poetic writings and prophetic writings. And in Psalms particularly, there's a lot of things that are symbolic or emotional in their meaning, more than just the substance of the words themselves. So, And the Psalms, of course, are Hebrew poetry, and often the meaning is not literal. Psalms often use simile, metaphor, allegory, personification, etc. So here are a couple of examples. Uh, Psalm 18, the Lord is my rock. 96, trees sing. Psalm 98, let the rivers clap their hands. And you have all of these different poetic expressions, and there's, there's a feeling associated that with the symbolic meaning, but we shouldn't try to take it too literally. When you read the Psalms, what do you feel and, and what do you think as you're reading them? How would you complete this sentence? Reading Psalms is like, what would you say? 
私はこのようにこれを完成しました。I finish the sentence like this. Reading Psalms is like looking in a mirror. 死の読むことは鏡を見るようなものです。どういう意味ですかこの詩篇の中、感情的なことを表現する詩が多いです。そして私たちはたまに詩篇を学ぶことより、その詩を朗読して体験する方が役に立ちます。祝福となります。Sometimes rather than just trying to read a psalm and study it or something, it's more fruitful to just sort of read it out loud and experience it. Experience the feelings that are expressed and think of the psalmist feeling those things. その詩演作者はどのような感情でこれを書きましたと考えば。So all of the emotions that we know are reflected in the Psalms. Shihen wa jinsei no subete no kanjo han e shite imasu. So that's why I say it's like looking in the mirror. Kagami o miru yoni. In our human life, we have so many different emotions and feelings in different circumstances. Iroiro no ba men de, iroiro dekigoto ga atte, ningen toshite wa tashitachi wa iroiro no kanjo o Uh, もう体験しますそれでその支援作者は同じような体験同じような気持ちになったことはもう明らかとなります支援を読んでいる時に。So we read the Psalms, we realize that all of the experiences and feelings of human life are reflected there. Let's look at some examples. 例としていくつかの姿勢句を見てみましょう。This is from Psalm 100. これは詩ン百編からの言葉です。Shout for joy to the Lord, all the earth. Worship the Lord with gladness. Come before him with joyful songs. 全地よ、主に向かって喜びの叫びをあげよう。喜び祝い、主に使い。喜び歌って、見舞いに進みでよ。これを読むときにどのような気持ちがありますかその作者はどのような感情でこれを書いたか考えればいいです。So as we read it, we think, you know, what sort of feeling is here and what was the psalmist feeling when he wrote it? Well, I think maybe joy. これは喜びのときに書かれたかなと思います。でも他の解釈も可能です。But other opinions are also possible. This is Psalm 27, 27ですね。The Lord is my light and my salvation, whom shall I fear? The Lord is the stronghold of my life, of whom shall I be afraid? 主は私の光、私の救い。私は誰を恐れよう。主は私の命の砦。私は誰の前におののくことがあろう。So, 多分分からないですけれども多分作者は人を恐れている時に考えてその必要はないと判断しましたこれを書いたかなと思います。So I don't know but perhaps the psalmist was in a situation where there was some fear of man or men that was there and then the psalmist thought I don't need to be afraid of men I have the Lord and it, maybe that's what motivated the writing of the psalm. From the same psalm, we have another verse here in verse 10. Onaji、uh, shihen desu k e r i d o m o ju sets ni kono kotoba mo a r i m a s Though my father and mother forsake me, the Lord will receive me. Chichi haha wa watashi o miste yo tomo, shu wa kanarazu watashi o hiki yo sete kurisaimas. Have you ever felt abandoned? Maybe not by family, maybe by a friend or In some cases, by others. もう見捨てられて気持ちになったことがありますか家族じゃなくても、例えば友達だと思った人に見捨てられたこととか、その気持ちになれば、この支援を見て、ああ、この支援の作者もそれを感じたと想像できます。So if we've ever felt that way, we can imagine that the psalmist was feeling this also as he wrote this psalm. And then sometimes we just feel like we've done wrong and, and we feel unclean. たまに何か悪いことしてしまった。けがれて気持ちになります
シヘンゴチュイピンワ、その時に助かります。In those times, Psalm 51 can be a great help. Have mercy on me, O God, according to your unfailing love. According to your great compassion, blot out my transgressions. Wash away all my inequity and cleanse me from sin. Kami yo watashi yo awarende kudusai. On itsukushimi o motte, fukai on awaremi o motte, samuki no tsumi o nugutte kudusai. Watashi no toga o koto gotoku arai, tsumi kara kiyomete kudusai. この詩編は特に、uh, 心の重い時におすすめします。And I really recommend this when your heart is just feeling really heavy because of things. Even though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil. For you are with me, your rod and your staff, they comfort me. 死の鍵の谷を行く時も私は災いを恐れない。あなたが私と共にいてくださる。あなたの無知、あなたの強い。それが私を力づける。これはもちろんその有名な詩編23編からの言葉です。災いや悪を恐れているときにこの詩編を読めば祝福されるでしょう。And this, of course, is from that famous psalm, Psalm 23. I think, you know, if there's any kind of feeling of fear of disaster or evil, this is really a psalm that would be a blessing to you to read and to feel the feelings of the psalmist. And this is Psalm 42. Why are you downcast, O my soul? Why so disturbed within me? Put your hope in God, for yet I will praise him. My Savior and my God. なぜうなだれるのか、私の魂よ。なぜうめくのか、神を待ち望め。私はなお、告白しよう。みかうこそ、私の救いと、私の神よ。がっくりしたときに、これは励ましとなるでしょう。If you're ever feeling down and dejected, I think this is a really encouraging place to read. And this is Psalm 130, Shihin Yaku Sanju Hin. You ever feel like you did something wrong, you just kind of feel guilty? Yamashi kimochi ni natte masu ka? Nani ka shite shimatta koto ga atte? Kore o yondara shukufuku to naru de shou. If you, O Lord, kept a record of sins, O Lord, who could stand? But、with you there is forgiveness, therefore you are feared. Shio anataga tsumio subete kokuro ni tome dare du nara, shuyo dare ga tai emasho. Shikashi yudushi wa anata no moto ni ari, hito wa anata o osore uyumao no desu. Kansha shimasu. Rokuju ni hen. 62. You ever felt helpless, kokoro bosoi, kimochi no toki? Find rest, O my soul, in God alone. My hope comes from Him. He alone is my rock and my salvation. He is my fortress. I will not be shaken. Watashi no tamashi yo chin moku shite, tada kami ni mukai. Kami ni nomi, watashi wa kibo o oite iru. Kami wa watashi no iwa watashi no tsukui tori de no to. Watashi wa doyo shinai. So, Watashi wa tachi wa ima iroiro reo yonde agemashite kiri de mo. Kono shihen no naki ni watashi tachi ga taikin suru subete no kanjo ga ega karete imasu. Now, we just read a few examples, but in this book of Psalms we have All of the emotions we experience are depicted so that we can see that they are not new, they're not something that we are the only person experiencing. They're the same emotions and problems and blessings that people have experienced for thousands of years. So, I was just talking about the first time, and I was just talking about the first time, and I was just talking about the first time. 
死因を開いてみればもう何千年前から人間はこの同じ気持ちになったことが明らかとなります。So, the Psalms are reflections of our emotions as well as having teaching in them, of course. But many times we can just sort of read it and let it flow over us and experience what the psalmist was feeling and discover that we are not alone. もちろん、この支援の中に多くの教えもありますけれども、多くの場合、祝福の道はその支援を読んで、その祝福を流されるように私たちに聞いて、私たちは、ああ、この詩の作者は私と同じ気持ちになって、私は一人ではない、この気持ち。今日与えられた詩はこの148編ですね。もう146から150まではセットとなります。その真ん中にあります。So today we'll be looking at Psalm 148 briefly. And、uh, that's kind of a part of a five psalm set from 146 to 150. It's in the middle of that. And one of the distinctive things about these psalms is They all start and end with the same word. この詩編の特徴の一つは、同じ言葉で始めと同じ言葉で終わるのですね。つまり、ハレルヤ、ヘブライ語で。And that word is hallelujah in Hebrew. And sometimes our translations translate it as hallelujah, but many times it just translates as praise the Lord, which is what it means. So, ハレルヤと訳されるところもあると思います。Uh, 聖書の翻訳でそのままヘブライ語をハレルヤ。でも、主を賛美せよという意味もよく、uh, 訳されていますね。それは根本的な意味です。148編は私は想像しますけれども、多分その作者は創世記一書一節を考えて、uh, その詩を Well, it's just from my imagination, but I imagine the psalmist when he wrote 148, he, he was just thinking of Genesis 1 1 as he was writing it. In the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. その詩篇の最初のところは、天に対してのこと、あとは地に対してのことが描かれています。And I highlighted the word heavens because the, the first part of the psalm highlights the heavens and the second part the earth. And of course, in the Bible, when we read heavens and earth, it's referring to everything, all of creation. もちろん、聖書では天使を読むときに、それはすべてのもの、想像の万物のすべてのものを指しています。So here's verse 1 through 4 in English. And this is sort of a, a comment, a command to all of the things above. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord from the heavens. Praise Him in the heights above. Praise Him, all His angels. Praise Him, all His heavenly hosts. Praise him, sun and moon. Praise him, all you shining stars. Praise him, you highest heavens and you waters above the sky. Hallelujah. Teni oite shuo sambi seyo. Takai tende shuo sambi seyo. Mitsukai da yo kozote shuo sambi seyo. Shuno bangun yo kozote shuo sambi seyo. ひよ、月よ、主を賛美せよ。輝く星よ、主を賛美せよ。天の天よ、天の上にある水、主を賛美せよ。これは上にあるすべてのものに命令形で話された言葉ですね。賛美せよ、すべての上にあるもの。So、これは上にあるものと言ったら、天のものと言ったら、もうその昔の文化の中で、それは天はいろいろ意味を持っていました。So, 
in the uh, that time, that culture, the word heavens had a variety of meanings. It could point to the blue sky. How zoro sashi Dubai ga arimas. Mochiran sono muko no sibeti no mono ni mo hi o sashi iru koto. Ski o sashi iru koto. The sun and the moon or the stars. Mochiran hoshi zoro mo. We ni aru sibeti no mono wa tin to arimashita fukusuke de. And all of the things above were captured in that word heavens to the people of that time. Uh, you notice it's plural, it's not just one heaven, it's many. And of course, beyond that, God's own heaven. So we see here that the psalmist is rejecting the idea that there's a sky god, or a storm god, or a sun god, or a moon god, or star gods, and saying, no, there's one god who made the heavens and the earth, and all of these things that God made should be praising him in a symbolic meaning. They should be all turning to God and basically praising him for creating them. So, この作者, shino sakusha wa, その昔よくあって現代にも so here's a continuation. Let them praise the name of the Lord, for he commanded and they were created. He set them in place forever and ever. He gave a decree that will never pass away. Shuno mino sambi seyo. Shua meiji rare subete no mono wa sozo sarita. Shua sore da o yo yo kagiri naku tatte. Koe e nai okiti o atai rare ta. Kara iro tsuke mashite kiri de mo. Shuno mino sambi seyo wa ee no okite to narimas. Ne subete no mono wa ee mari ni sono shuno mino sambi. So I kind of highlighted there, but the decree that will never pass away, I think, is really the decree, the command to praise the name of the Lord, uh, that forever all of the creation, all of creation should praise God because he is the creator and he's the sustainer. So no kami sama wa mo ue ni aru mono subete sozo shite kurusate, so shite sasayete kurusate no de. If we go back and remember in Genesis 1.1, uh, it goes from, uh, in the beginning God created the heavens and the earth. So now here when we read and the earth, we're thinking of everything below. The heavens were everything above, the earth is everything below. So the hajime ni kami wa tinshi o sozo sarete to arimasu seki isho isetsu ni. So mai wa sono ten o sashite iru koto. Uh Praise the Lord from the earth, you great sea creatures in all ocean depths, lightning and hail, snow and clouds, stormy winds that do his bidding. You mountains and all hills, fruit trees and all cedars, wild animals and all cattle, small creatures and flying birds, kings of the earth and all nations, you princes and all rulers on earth, young men and maidens, old men and children. Not everything is listed here, but this is clearly intended to mean everything below that is of the earth. Uh, 
、いいよ、よーよー、ゆきよー、きりよ、みことばをなしとげるあらしよ。やめやめよ、すべてのおくよ、みをむすぶきよ、つぎのはやしよ。脳の獣よ、すべての家畜よ。血を這う者よ、翼ある鳥よ。地上の王よ、諸国の民よ。君主よ、地上の支配者よ。若者よ、乙女よ。両人よ、おさねぐよ。下にあるすべてのものですね。さあ、この雷も入っています。その中。それはもう上のものだと考えられるけれども、落ちてくるので、これは下のものも考えられます。You may have noticed、uh, in there we have the idea of the storms which brings in the lightning, and you might think, well, that's above, but the lightning comes crashing down,、uh, so that's below as well. As same with the snow, it's of the earth as well as of the sky. 雪も地にあるものですね。上にあるものでも、もちろん山々はその地のものであって、動物たちはすべて地にあるもの。そして私たちにとって一番大事なのは多分人間のことですね。So as we see, you know, from, from the lightning, you know, to the、uh, mountains, to everything above, the snow,、uh, Well, everything above was before, now everything below is included, and especially we come to people, you know,、uh, and we are commanded in this、uh, passage. But what is the command? He hasn't even gotten to the command yet. It's coming here in a moment. これはすべてのものは地にあるものはもう命令されていますでもその命令は何ですかまだ見ていないです。じゃあそれは地球のすべてのもの、この下にあるすべてのものへの命令ですね。But it's command to everything that is below, everything on the earth. It says, Let them praise the name of the Lord. For his name alone is exalted. His splendor is above the earth and the heavens. しのみなを賛美せよ。その命令ですね。しのみなは一人高く。いこは天使に満ちている。So, 上のものも下のものもすべて同じ命令にされていますね。主を賛美しよう。So, the things above and below are given the very same command to praise the Lord. And the psalmist、uh, finishes with this. その死の終わりの方にこれもあります。He has raised up for his people a horn. The praise of all his saints of Israel, the people close to his heart. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. She was Gojibun no Tami no Tsuno o Takaku Agate Kurisaru. So they were she no Itskushimini Ikiri Subeti no Hitu no Eyo. Shuni Chikaku Aru Tami, Israel no Koreo. Hallelujah. Amen. As we have the word horn here. What is that? Well, often in the Bible we see the word horn used for something of power and especially for a powerful king. But here perhaps it's prophetic pointing to our Lord Jesus, our Savior. この角という言葉はここにありますね。この旧約聖書の中、角という言葉はよく何か力あるものを指していて、特に力強い王のことを指しています。でもこれをよく見たら、多分ここでは予言的にシエス、私たちの救い主を Let's pray. Uh, we'll go ahead and pray, and this time in Japanese. Yes, Krishna, Chichinaru, Kamin Sama. Anatova, Sozo Nushi de Ate, Sibete no Mono, Skutte Kurisai Mashta, Inochio, Watash Tachini, Atayte Kurisai Mashta. 私たちはあなたの皆を賛美します。あなたの御業を感謝します。すべてのものはあなたに支えられています。あなたの力によって私たちは日々を続きます。その祝福は日々与えられています。あなたの恵み、あ
夏のアバデミによって。どうかそのアバデミ、その恵みを私たちに注いで、家族に注いで、友人、天使に注いでください。私たちは一人一人があなたの祝福の中に生きることができますように。何よりも私たちはシエスの十字架上の見業を感謝します。その復活を感謝します。この素晴らしい救いを与えてくださったことのために私たちはあなたを皆を賛美します。感謝します。この世の中、苦しんでいる人、悲しんでいる人は多いです。聞いている人の中でも、そのような気持ちの人がいるでしょう。どうか癒しを与えください。励ましを与えください。新しい祝福を与えください。一人一人が喜びの心、喜びに溢れて心を持って、皆を賛美することができますように。毎日。しかし私たちは辛い。経験する時もあなたの祝福あなたは命を与えてくださったことを覚え皆を賛美するものとしてくださいますように多くの感謝を持ってシエスの皆によってお祈りいたしますアーメン